In this video, I want to show you one secret sightline for every map. Dr. Pooplove here, and sightlines are basically vantage points on the map that allow you to see and shoot at a distance across to other parts of the map. And a good sightline is one of these that allow you to view into a high traffic zone that the enemies frequently visit. A good sightline is also made by your ability to be concealed or undetected. So in this video, I'm going to show you one sightline that I don't think a lot of people know about from every single map in the game. So let's get into it. Starting off on Lakeside, when you are on the bottom side heading up this stairway a lot of times you see snipers using this right side of cover to try to snipe across the map but if you use this wooden signpost i guess and swap your shoulders you can snipe enemies that are trying to get the box the far side of the map as well as enemies who may be hiding in the lodge or making their way towards you for university, one that I like that I don't think a lot of people use is if you have enemies hiding in the upper windows on the upper side of the university, is that you can actually see them and shoot them through the little gap in these university map signposts. And you're pretty well concealed and kind of a really hard target in this location. So try these out if you're on university. Now on downtown, if this map ever gets selected, one of my favorite parts is this kind of slanted, falling apart wall. And you can kind of stand up on it and get a good couple angles for any enemies that may be heading up this other side here towards the box. All right, moving on to bookstore. One of my favorite spots is right up here on the bridge. And I don't see a whole lot of people using this, but you have a very perfect angle to anyone that happens to be going for the supply box. You can use this as cover and just pop out and blam. All right, so on Bus Depot, one of the sneakiest places is actually right here. And so you can look through this little gap and you can catch a lot of times uh, people are spawning coming to get the box or just transitioning over perfect spot to get it down so with suburbs of course uh, this area by the flower pots is a typical sniping location but if you stand over here in the middle kind of where the elevation goes down you are able to catch those that may be hiding up here and you're basically head glitching them so it makes you a much much harder target on Water Tower, this is one that I discovered somewhat recently, and that is to stand up on this little tree thing, and you can view all the way across. Typically, someone will be hiding over here, and this is a good place to be to kind of catch them off guard. All right, and if you're on Capital, the worst map in this game, one of the coolest spot that I don't think a lot of people know is you can shoot through this kind of arrangement of furniture and you can see someone who is poking out that window. So it's a pretty good spot to be pretty well concealed and get the shot. Moving along to beach, there is, of course, if you're up here on the boat, there is some decent angles to get some good sniper shots in. But if you kind of hang off on the ledge here and shoulder swap, you do have a very good angle up on the, on the box here and you can use this to your advantage. All right, one that I have here on Financial Plaza is a little bit of a shorter distance, but if you stand on top of this police cruiser, you have a pretty good angle and a pretty good head glitch spot for anyone that may be trying to sit here or potentially anyone going for the box. Next up is Coal Mine, where if you hop on top of this trailer, you have a nice vantage point to enemies that may be heading towards this supply box. Also, anyone that happens to be moving across this way. Next up is Wharf, and this one is not super frequent, but one thing I like to do is at the start of a match, head here, and you can try to hit someone as they are potentially making their way towards this box and trying to listen load in to see if they can approach. 
All right, here we are on Hometown, and on this one, what I like to do is go upstairs to the bar here, and if you put your back up against this wall, you can crouch and look straight at the supply box here, catch people pretty off guard where they have no idea where they're getting shot from. All right, here we are on the dam, and one of the best spots to try to hit anyone that may be going down the hill from the other side here is you can stand up to a section on this tree and if you keep pushing right you get to a pretty high elevation and you can catch people as they are heading down the map all right so in high school one of my favorite things to do is right at the start if i start on this side of the map i go straight towards this window over here and then i can look in and get a nice sight line on anyone trying to get this box right at the start all right, so Billstown, and one of my favorite spots to go is up the rafters here and over to this corner where you have a pretty good angle on anyone that is either going to be heading in towards the Sammy's box or sniping on the other side. All right, so next up we have Checkpoint, and this is a spot that a lot of uh, FN players use, and that is to kind of head directly towards this concrete slab and stand on it and it gives you a really good angle across to the window and it's really good for catching people as they may be heading towards this box. And so that is one sight line for every map in this game. If you want me to do another one where I give you a second sight line for every map, let me know in the comments. And using these sight lines in combination with some hunting rifle sniping skills is gonna make you super deadly. So you should check this video out where I give you some sniper tips. But otherwise, so long, pooper troopers.